Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of The Suited Shootist. And what I want to talk about today is actually fresh off the heels of the podcast appearance that I did with the guys over at Green Ops. I'm going to link that down below, so that way you can go check it out. I had a great conversation with them. Um, and one of the things that we talked about was it really matters how your clothing fits. And it's not just in terms of appearance, but also how it pertains to your concealment. So um, just real quick, uh, it's like 100 degrees here in Texas right now, and in order to film these, I've got to turn my ceiling fan off, so I might be sweating through my shirt a little bit, sorry. Um, but jumping right into it. This is one of the few shirts I still have that is uh, easily too big and, and needs to be taken in. I mean, this is how it fits, this is how it should fit, and I've got a good fistful of, uh, of fabric behind my back. But um, it's a French cuff dress shirt, so I never wear it without a jacket. It's kind of how I've gotten away with it. There's a couple of things that come into play here. Aside from the fact that it just looks sloppy. The major concealment elements are these. First off, uh, and I'll go ahead and throw a close-up of it, I'm going to have to artificially create it for the purposes of the video. But one thing that I have had happen is when you have all of this billowy fabric and you're moving around, what can happen is that it can actually shelf itself on top of the gun and create these very awkward uh, kind of like right angle lines that don't otherwise exist. And if the clothing is falling different on one side of the body than the other, then that can look at a place, draw further scrutiny. And I will tell you, this is the case regardless. Everybody's going to say, oh, well, it's a solid white dress shirt. You know, it's like the worst for concealment. Technically a correct statement, but it really doesn't matter. If you've got something that is creating this horizontal line at your midsection, and it's either bunching up or shelving or something on one side, then that lack of symmetry catches the eye. And that's one of the main challenges. The other is, and I'll go ahead and kind of step back so you can see this, um, I do not recommend ever wearing a dress shirt like this untucked. But at this point, this shirt is easily a size too big for me. And why that's important is, oh, just buy a size bigger, tends to be the advice that we give people when they are buying clothing for the purpose of concealment. And when it's untucked, I mean, it, it drapes, it's basically a dress. Um, again, never wear dress shirts untucked like this. I'm simply showing you what's going on inside my pants. And that is when I go to draw, a lot of that fabric can hang up under my ass and then that will limit how much travel I've actually got to clear the cover garment. This is critical. So let's take a look at what a well-fitting shirt looks like and how that changes things. Okay, so um, I don't have any white dress shirts that are super tailored, mostly because for me, I treat any white garment pretty much like it's disposable, uh, just because, uh, honestly, I, I stay in the hell out of them, and so I try and avoid spending too much money on any given one, but, this is one of my shirts from Adam Ross Custom. So this was made specifically to my measurements. And hopefully you can see there's, there's a lot less fabric involved. So um, it's the only thing that's been changed. The gun is still in the same position. Everything is, is still the same except for this shirt actually fits. Now, I will predicate this on it is somewhat contingent upon your build. Ideally, you want your chest to be what projects out more than anything else on the front of your body because that allows the clothing to fall in a manner that will um, you know, help to hide the gun. Now, if you do have a bit of a gut, then that is where getting pants that ride a little bit higher can actually come into play because if you have them riding uh, at your, because like my belly button is here my hip bones are here. And you can see that the waistline of the trousers is splitting the difference. So um, that's important because if you are wearing everything below the belly, 
then at that point your your belly is going to be pushing the gun outwards towards your body. Um, you're going to have to kind of play around and see what what best suits you. But again, even with a much more fitted shirt in one of the lightest colors I've got, there it, this is way more discreet than it was with the white dress shirt. And additionally, uh, kind of going back and doing the same thing, even if I were to run this untucked, which again, don't recommend, it's not so far below my butt. So I'm still able to get full clearance on this um, far better than the, the other shirt. Slight difference because I'm trying to be as objective and even handed on this as possible. This is made out of a performance fabric. There is some stretch to it. That helps a little bit. Most woven garments um, are going to, like a, a standard poplin dress shirt, are not going to be that, uh, they're not gonna have any stretch to them at all. What you got is what you got. The only slack that you have is in the fabric. So ideally, you want the hem of the shirt, at least in the back, you don't want that to fall below your butt cheek. Um, you want it kind of somewhere down the glute, but not all the way to where it's coming up under the curvature. It's, it's a, it's, it, you're gonna giggle at the detail, but it matters. So this is just one of those things where when you have clothing that fits properly, then you don't have a bunch of excess fabric that's doing weird things that you then have to manage. So hopefully you found this useful. If you are getting mileage out of the channel, like, subscribe, do the notification bell thing. I hate asking to do that, but you know the reality is, is given that I am doing uh, firearm related content, um, I am basically obligated to uh, list it as not for kids. So that really throttles the amount that the algorithm pushes it out. And um, so views, subscribes, and shares really are what help me out. And um, if you want to support the channel directly, I've got the Patreon as well. I've got links for all that down below. So I hope you found this useful. I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Stay dangerous and stay sharp.